Okay, so what we're gonna do is just gonna talk a little bit about negative indices. So if I go to this, if I say what's y to the two divided by y to the four, we instinctively say it's y to the negative two. So what we can now start to say is, well, hang on a second, let's just look at that in factor form. So what we've got is y times y over y times y times y times y. And what we know is that that is going to kill off that, and that is going to kill off that. So what are we left with? We're left with 1 over y times y, or 1 over y squared. So what we can say is that when we've got a negative power, what we can do is if we move it from the numerator down to the denominator, it becomes a positive power. So likewise here, this is the same as 1 over y squared. Okay, so now I start to say, well, hang on, what else can we do? So if I've got something like this, a to the negative 2 over b to the negative 3. And I say I don't want to have any negative indices, I only want positive indices. So what I do is I move the b to the negative 3 up to the numerator and the a to the negative 2 down to the denominator. So in this case, I'm going to be left with b to the 3 over a to the 2. Can you see the difference? Okay, these two are both the same, but this one is better because it's, it's expressed with positive indices, not negative indices. So I might say to you, hey, I want you to express this with positive indices. So I might say a to the negative 3, b to the 2, c to the negative 5, uh, d to the negative 4. So what's the things that we have to move? Do I have to move this b squared? No, I don't. That's a positive indice, so that can stay where it is. But everything else has to move. So this goes up to the numerator, this goes up to the numerator, and this goes down to the denominator. Only the things which are negative indices must move. So in this case, we're left with b squared over a to the three, um, a to the three, and also we've got c to the five, d to the four. Okay, I should move that along there. All right, so now let's see what else we can do with things like this. What about this? What about if I write uh, this? 3a to the minus 2, b to the 4, c to the minus 5, all to the power of 4. So... That means everything's to the power of 4. So that's going to give me 81, a, a to the minus 8. You see, a negative times a positive is a negative. B to the 16, C to the negative 20. Now, is this my final answer? No, it's surely not. So what has to move and what has to stay. Well, I know this is 81 to the power of one, so that's a, that can stay where it is. B to the 16, that can stay where it is. But you see these two here, they have to move. And right now, all of this lot here is in the numerator. So what I'm now gonna do, I'm now going to create a denominator. So I'm now gonna write, I'm gonna move this down into the denominator, and this down into the denominator. So my final answer is going to be 81b to the 16 over a to the 8, c to the 20, to the 20. Let's just check. Good. All right, you might have to rewind that and do that question again. Okay, I'll just clean the board and we'll finish off. So, what about if we've got something a little bit like this? 
So using our knowledge from before, uh, maybe we go with this. 81, A to the 20, B to the negative 24, all to the three quarters. So, a little bit more complicated. So, I say, what is 81 to the three quarters? 81 to the three quarters is 27. What's three quarters of 20? A to the 15. What's three quarters of negative 24? Three quarters of negative 24 is negative 18. Okay, now, are we happy with that as a final answer? Well, I'm happy with the 27 to the one. That's fine, that's not doing any, that's a positive indice. I'm happy with that. Am I happy with this? No, I'm not, because it's a negative indice. So what I'm gonna do is I need to move it down into the denominator. So I should end up with 27 a to the 15 over b to the 18. And that now is my final answer. Okay, and that's as far as we're really gonna be taking it this week. We will take uh, this a little bit further next week, but as far as this is, this is setting ourselves up for 10 methods. This is not standard year nine work, this is more year 10 methods work.